Welcome to another Group Iron Man episode. I just finished buying the 4,700 nature runes that I need to alk all the maple longbows. And I'm going to be doing some agility meanwhile alking. And uh, I want to get 84 magic and also have to get 70 agility. But 70 agility is a very long grind, so I'll probably work at it uh, bit by bit. Before alking and doing agility, I went here to the wilderness and got 60 agility without alks because, of course, I don't want to risk all the money and the nature runes in the wilderness. But the wilderness course is just way faster than the Falador one but now I have the Sears agility course which is actually one of the better ones for Alking as well so it's perfect. Very nice I just got the notification that my teak trees on the fossil island has fully grown which is going to get me to over 55 farming which allows me to plant mahogany trees and I have a decent amount of seeds by the way I'm getting closer to 62 agility and um, but let's go and get that 55 farming first and plant the new trees. Look at this, so beautiful, should be 55 here, there we go. Won't quite get 56, but uh, I can now plant the mahogany ones. I have 16 of these seeds, so uh, it is time to get some insane experience. These, by the way, give like 7.6k, and the mahogany ones give like 15.2k or something like that. So the experience is kind of insane from this. 63 agility incoming here when I jump down and with that I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who is watching my content, supporting, being subscribed, liking the video, everything. It really means the world to me and I cannot believe I just hit 13,000 subscribers and I'm already at 13.1k. I mean it really means a lot to me. I, I really want that to be known. Like all the time I just focus on making the best content and you guys, you know, watching, enjoying the content, all that. It really is rewarding for me to see that and it is very uh, humbling to be able to actually say that I have a group of people that watch my content and actually enjoy what I do, so... Thank you guys for uh, for doing that. Now to avoid the agility burnout, which is uh, very easy to happen, I am going to take a break to do some barrels. I am currently at 69 KC. I can go to my collection log. I have been very lucky with items. We do actually have a Guthans chain skirt already. So if I would get the Guthans plate body or any really Arams items, that would be huge. As well as there's so many items to get. Let's be real here. There's so many good items I could get, and I actually want to get to 100 KC in this video. So that means 31 kills and hopefully we can get something in that that is pretty good I'm going to be making some barrels tablets with the imbued heart boost and uh, I'm probably going to make like 31 so I have for all the runs and also, to be honest, this is a pretty good time to have an excuse to use my blowpipe It is blasting on Arim and of course when I say that I miss every shot But uh, before this it was very good. There you go. Oh, well, look at that. I am a professional YouTuber. 82 magic. I missed it completely, so sorry about that. But uh, two more levels until we can enchant Senai Jewelry with the imbued heart boost, so you can uh, see now. If I use this, I get to 91, and two more levels, and I get that 93 for uh, Rings of Suffering that we already have two we can make. I assume a lot of people are actually using the Tomofire right now in the game because there are so many new group Iron Man. I am going to show you guys a small trick that allows you to uh, make it a bit more convenient to swap between ranged and magic if you are using it. So if we, if we let Aram die here, if I actually uh, equip the Tomofire before my staff, then I still have the autocast on. But if I would do this and I would equip the staff first, I do not. So if you do use a tome of fire, you want to make sure that you actually swap to the tome first when you do the switches. No items yet, but this is chest number 80 and for that we get some decent runes I would say, but 20 chests to go. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, well that is a unique for me, but it is the uh, second one overall for the team, so not too great. Chest number 90 coming up, so only 10 more after this one and we get nothing. It is time for chest number 100, after this we're going back to agility, but it was a fun detour, we got 211,000 magic experience and the last chest is going to be some runes again. But nice, 100 KC looks good. We are getting very close to 84 magic, about to get 83 here, alking while doing agility of course, so only one more level to go now. Taking a break here at 65 agility, just hit it. We're going to complete Death to the Dorgishan quest, which requires Lost Tribe and Death to the Dorgishan to hand in some long bones and curved bones for some free construction experience. Should be the Lost Tribe completed, a very fast quest. The Death to the Dorgishan is a bit longer, but still a pretty easy quest coming up. 
And that is the Death to the Dorgishan quest completed, so let's go and get some free construction experience inside of the city. So let's see how much experience I get for all these bones, it is actually going to be quite a lot I think. I'm currently 48 construction and we also get some coins. So let's see, 40,500 experience and 10,000 coins. And uh, that gave me all the way to 52 construction, so 4 levels for that, very nice. Now I just woke up and that's why my voice is a bit different, but I just want to say that I woke up, I read some comments on my latest YouTube video talking about how I wasn't really doing much for the team in terms of helping out, giving supplies to the group storage and stuff like that. And I want to just explain this real brief because I don't want to talk about it too long. Oh, give me one sec. So overall, since the beginning, if you watch my series, you know that I talked about doing Solra very early into my series, and that's always been the goal. That's why I don't really even use the Toxic Blowpipe that much. I have it in the uh, group storage here for other people to use. And also I lended out my Serpentine Helmet for Dovidas when he was doing the Vorkath grind for the Avas Accumulator upgrade. Overall, I have put in a lot of items, but I just don't show it because I don't feel like it's that interesting to be like, oh yeah, I just put in like 25 Raynor seeds from Winter Todd, or you know, a thousand logs or something like that. I do put in things regularly, like I put the Carol's Crossbow in, I don't need it. I have put in a lot of herbs for Dark World Orders, uh, herb grind, uh, adamant bolts from Soul Wars, all these kind of good stuff, the Malediction Ward and the Dragon Halberd. So don't worry guys, I am putting things into the group storage, I just don't show most of it because I don't feel like it's that interesting unless it's a very important thing I want to put in. Our new team member Doug has been doing a lot of temporals and he's got like over 6,000 raw swordfish so I actually decided to buy 2,000 off of him because I want to work on 70 cooking in the kind of near future for barrels gloves. It's not my highest priority but it's just nice to have it banked and I actually wanted to pay him in pure cash because he needs it for runes and stuff like that but I actually couldn't do that. I put money into the storage hoping that it would work. Also traded him but that didn't work either so I put 460k in for the sword fish but uh, it's only three days left until the restriction on new members where you can actually trade whatever money you want over is lifted so that is the time he will be able to take that money so a bit of a two in one here i am completing the family quest to get both the gold smithing gauntlet and the cooking gauntlets because of course i need that cooking gauntlet for 70 cooking and i need the gold smithing gauntlet to get my 70 smithing for the future song of the elves quest i want to do so i just completed that real quick and uh, i will be able to get those gloves whenever i want to you basically just turn these steel gauntlets into whatever gloves you want I'll probably end up doing the cooking first, so I just got the cooking gauntlets, you have to pay this guy 25k. By the way, if you don't know what this is, I think most people know, but I'm sure there is someone who hasn't done this before. These gloves actually decrease the burn rate of lobsters, swordfish, monkfish, sharks and anglerfish by quite a lot. So if I have these with swordfish, I shouldn't really be burning any of them. And you can turn them into the goldsmith gauntlet if you want as well, for only 25k, and that gives gold smithing 2.5 times the experience. So instead of 22.5 experience per gold bar that you make at the blast furnace, you get 56.25, which makes it like insane experience an hour and pretty cheap as well. Just felt like doing all the wines as well that I had, so I had over a thousand in my bank and that is going to be more than 200,000 experience. If you don't know how this works by the way, you just put the grapes into a jug of water and it basically just stacks up the experience as long as you want. So you can see the timer above my inventory is uh, resetting all the time. When this timer runs out, I will get the experience for every single wine that I've created and uh, I don't have that many left, so you're going to see a massive experience drop in just a bit. Completed the last wines and in 4 seconds, let's see that XP drop, I'm 60 cooking and 197,000 got me all the way to 65, actually almost 66 and now I should have enough raw swordfish in the bank to get all the way to 70 whenever I feel like doing that. But now after all that, I am going to sit down in my chair and complete 70 agility and uh, first level coming in here after this tightrope, 67 agility and we're up at 468 laps so far in this video, but let's uh, get 70 agility. And here we have 68 agility, two more to go. And this is the jump for 69 agility, so only one more level to go after this one. Feels good to soon be done with agility. And a very nice additional thing, on top of getting 69 agility, I just reached the amount of Mark of Grace I need to be able to buy 
all the last pieces of the graceful set. Wait, do I not have that? Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> there's the gloves. And that is the entire graceful set completed. Also, I was gifted a decent amount of items to Alk, meanwhile doing agility to get at least some magic experience as I'm going to be putting in the money back here to Dark World Order, who was the person that gave me all the stuff. And I think he's going to use all this money on smithing. Now before I go and get 70 agility, I am actually going to start doing a lot of herb runs. I'm starting with Aventos and I'm going to work towards doing a lot of them in general because Dark World Order is getting pretty close to stamina potions and I do want to help him as much as possible with that and I kind of have been slacking with herb runs in general so I feel like it's my time to do this. And finally, it is the last jump over this edge for 70 agility and we are done with agility for probably a very long time after this, so very nice to have that done. 70 agility and also we got 23 more marks of grace which is 200 amli crystals for stamina potions which is equal to 50 for those stamina pots when we can make them so that is pretty nice. Something I should have done a very long time ago but isn't that bad that I skipped is tears of gothics because how long you can be in here and get more experience is dependent on how many quest points you have so if I would have done this at like 50 quest points the experience would be minimal but now at 153 I can actually collect quite a lot of experience every single week from here. 98 tiers and I, that's going to go into runecrafting. I think I'm 25 right now so let's see how many levels I get. 25 to 28 so almost 4000 experience for free in a very slow skill so it is very good to do this. So looking at the Song of the Elves level requirements I still need. I do need 70 wood cutting and I'm actually already pretty close to that from just Winter Todd and we do have a dragon axe that I got to borrow and I am 67 right now. I'm going to do all the way to 70 on Sullysep Mush rooms or however you pronounce that and the reason why is because the experience rate from this is actually very very high it's like 100k an hour so I should be done in about one and a half two hours or something like that but also on top of that cutting this you get a lot of these fossils I'm not sure how much I'm going to get from just three levels but it should be a good amount and you can actually turn them in for xp lamps at the museum in Varrock and I will use all of that on Herblore and I will need a lot of help to get to 70 Herblore for the quest. Oh my god, look at this. Look at all these fossils I've got. This is one inventory. This is insane. But here we go, this is going to be 70 wood cutting and a random event as well. But yeah, that was super fast and let's actually go and clean all the fossils that I have now and see how much Herblore experience we can get for it. I will just uh, quickly show you guys how many I have. It's not a massive amount, but for the short amount of time I spent here, like one and a half hour, it is absolutely phenomenal. 20 small, 9 medium, 12 large and uh, these rare fossils are unfortunately useless. So this is all the lamps that I could get which is very nice for the amount of wood cutting I had to do. So let's put it all into herb lore, 2k. Dude, this is going to be so nice, 3.5k. We will see at the end here how much the total experience was. I was uh, 44 herb lore before using all these lamps. So let's see what I'll get to. By the way, the large fossils are 5k each. So the experience is actually kind of nuts from this, so let's uh, use the last one. And the overall experience that I got was 30,000. That is actually insane from doing that little amount of wood cutting, and we got all the way to 48, almost 49 from 44. But now it is time to finish off 84 magic so that I can imbue the future Rings of Suffering. By the way, I think Max Nick has actually got overall like 5 Senites now. It's insane, he's been super lucky, but I think we're going to make two Rings of Suffering and Dovidas is at 84 and a half crafting. I think he's going for 85 to be able to easier boost than with Stews. So uh, yeah, let's get that 84 magic by Ice Bursting. I have quite a lot of runes. Now before Dovidas can actually make the Ring of Suffering, he needs to complete Monkey Madness 2 himself and he is going to do that tomorrow. So there is no mega rush of getting 84 magic. I still want to get 84 magic though in this video, so that is going to be done. But I am going to take a quick break here before he logs off. You can see here in 20 minutes he is logging off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend basically most of my money to buy an Onyx and have him make me an Amulet of Fury. And then in the next one I will get the Ring of Suffering. And there we go, that is all the tockle I need to buy an Onyx, 260k. So let's buy that and let's go and get that Fury. 
And here we go, that is the Onyx Amulet U, and if I put a ball of wool on that, I will get an Onyx Amulet, and then I just have to boost a bit to be able to enchant it. But that is now an Amulet of Fury, whenever he accepts. He didn't scam me, very nice. Sheesh, look at that Onyx Amulet, dude. Now I just have to enchant this. And uh, there we go, 97 magic experience, let's compare the Amulet of Fury to the Glory. I have the Glory equipped. Oh my god, look at that, plus 2 prayer, plus 2 melee strength, and 12 plus in all defenses. And it also looks super fancy. And it is not only me who has an Amulet of Fury now, we could actually make 3, I have 1 equipped, and then 2 I will put into the storage that I just enchanted, so that will be very nice for the team. As I was kind of stuck on the normal spellbook after that, I just decided to Alec for the last experience, and this is 84 magic achieved. So now, with the Imbued Heart, I can reach the Senite Jewelry Enchant. So, whenever we get that Monkey Madness 2 done by Dovidas, we can make Rings of Suffering. So I have been keeping up with the farm runs as much as I can, but I also ran out of compost for a bit, so I had to make some new ones, but I'm at 200 Aventos roughly, and I have of course Avento seed planted, and I have still 10 in my bank here, as well as in the storage, we have 28 more, and all of those will go into super energies that we can then turn into stamina potions, which is the key to being able to do Siliana. The uh, Commander Siliana in God Wars Dungeon drops various different things, and I want the Armadil Crossbow mostly for Max Nick, because he is, as a madman, planning on doing the Inferno pretty soon, and that would be a very good item for him. So, hopefully you expect some Siliana in the near future, but until next time, this is the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it, like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see future uploads, and take care.